mysterious swords of Unsuru. She doesn't want to join us, though. <laughs> well, she's on contract. And contract. Hajime is still big. Let's make him smaller. Oh, <laughs> come on. He's so big. How long does that last? Forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seven hours. Is it rounds Not... per day or... It's days the, what, day. the big? It's just a large person. <laughs> the big! <laughs> yeah, I know. I forgot how a long large person lasts. It's like a round per level. Let me try. Right. So it's it's really not that long. It's one minute per level, actually. Oh. Well, that's not that's not bad. In fact, that's pretty good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's eight full minutes of big Dragon Boy, baby. <laughs> Oh, okay. it's me making him big and small over and over again. Um, we can't actually see that until you let go. I yeah. <laughs> 3D has a pancake stuff right there. But it was fun making a slide whistle. Slide, slide whistle. Noise. Slide whistle. Hello? Hello. Oh, uh, Newly you disconnected. Yeah, <laughs> I'm lag switching over here. Okay. That's actually a pretty good joke. <laughs> so the question is now, what do you do? Well, the ladder I mean, to the escape uh, from their nefarious stronghold lies before you. Yeah. Ajime will have a bit of a difficult time getting up it. In fact, it will be essentially impossible. The space to to squeeze into that space would require squeezing for a medium-sized person. So Hajime is just... Mm. <laughs> I sit down on the ground with a blank stare on my face. All right. Um, uh, I'm going to... Okay. Thank you That's for kind of participating. <laughs> that actually threw me at that. Like that threw me the hell off. Um, just... My brain dies. Does anyone want to assist Kasumi? Her brain died. Oh, okay. Damn. I. Coup de gras. I ask Kasumi, does she want to be on my back? <laughs> what a weird question. Because I'm a horse. A You're not a horse right now. Oh well. I it offer it anyways. But I can... then you couldn't get out. Oh, then I guess I'll stay as an elf. <laughs> I I do not respond. Are you okay? Buster Wolf? <laughs> Jake. Yes. Stop. <laughs> All I'm doing is just encouraging Anuva. All right. Well, okay. well, I don't know. So, Let's just leave. Yeah, I'm Let's gonna go march to the person who hired us. Yeah, well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna march. I was just waiting for you guys to finish up, so I'm gonna march. Well, march the point, prisoners. I'm not gonna tell you what you're gonna do. You're gonna tell oh. me. I know. I was waiting. I was just waiting for them to wait, finish up because uh, they were doing something. Hey. Okay. Wait. 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 Did I, we actually? Okay. Can I talk, Sorry. please? Sorry. I'm gonna march the prisoners and the severed head of their leaders for in the tap fruit to the sheriff's office there. All right, how are you displaying these severed heads? Necklace. Um, <laughs> Maybe not display the severed heads, just display the prisoners for now. S sorry, could I, could I make one acknowledgement? There's a letter over there? Yeah, that's the way out. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. all right. We... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm... I, whatever. It was just like over here and I didn't see it. Okay. So wait till level two of the dungeon. <laughs> yeah, but that's the hard mode version of the dungeon. Tell me when you're ready to proceed, if there's anything else you want to do in here. Also, I guess the heads are in my head sack. Yeah, we'll, we'll present them to the sheriff once we're there. Alright, and just to be clear, you're not keeping heads around in your head sack, besides the gold. I haven't, I haven't... Well, I don't you don't even have, have the gold one anymore, give it to... Yeah, I gave it to the witch. Yeah. Alright. Oh, and she made me tall. Yeah. Which... Encouraged my behavior. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He told me that collect kids is a good thing. <laughs> okay. That logic checks out. Exchange right. heads to the witch for, for free bonuses. <laughs> I kind of wish that's what I was. 
I mean, to be fair, when you think about it, Anthony the... dipped in gold first. Um, <laughs> to be so... fair, and, yeah. Are, are we actually keeping? Like, did we take the on, uh, Oni's head, or we did? Are we keep. Okay, cool. We took hers uh, and the leader's head. Why do I feel like? Why do I feel like we should do something else with an Oni's body? Isn't that like magical components right there, uh, Hajime? What about is there, him? Is there anything beneficiary from like an Oni's corpse you could loot? I don't know organs. Mm, no, this isn't The Witcher. <laughs> that's not really a thing. Okay. Also, I that's mean, gross. You could roll knowledge nature. I will do that then. Do you have a train? Ah, uh, yes. I Bad don't know. Knowledge of nature. From as from as many years in the Vivanese Viv forests. Okay, I won't even <laughs> roll it. So shut the fuck up. Well, I mean, you can't if you don't have any yeah. ranks in it. That's yeah, I, I want to go see if I actually have it ranked, but right now, character sheet isn't... My newspaper is being a piece of shit? Okay. Skills. No, I'm a solid zero. Never mind. Alright, well, then, you have no idea. Oh, well. But you could pretend to know. Uh, uh, oh yeah, the toes are really valuable. I mean, the tail. I think she is. <laughs> she has oh, many uh, of them. Yeah. Yeah. Nine of them. Oh well. Okay, I don't know. Just wanted to make sure. Ah uh, damn! You just passed up the most epic item in the game. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I mean, a okay. half of nine tails. Out of, out, of curi <laughs> out, of, out of curiosity, I go over to like check her corpse out real quick, and I probably don't have a a means. Where is she actually? Oh, she's over there. Yeah. Uh, before we leave, I guess I examine her claws, and uh, what do I need to roll to see if they, they're like naturally poisonous or coated in poison? Roll perception. Okay. Because that might be useful to have. Um, You're just going to have her claws? Yeah, it's going to tape it to a stick. You got a problem with that? Alright, you examine the Oni's claws. Okay. Um... They appear to be dry at this point, and you don't see anywhere for like a gland to secrete uh, poison into them, or any like holes for it to act like a fang. Um, so you presume that uh, the Oni used one of the many vials upon her belt, now empty, to uh, put something on her. Okay, you uh, guessed. What a, yeah, use. you you guessed where I was going. Okay. Uh, I figured if she had, like, they weren't naturally, like, you know, like a male platypus, uh, she'd have files on her. Okay, did we check her person then? I check her person, make sure that nothing valuable is on her. You find a pair of vials. Empty, I assume. Don't drink them. No. Uh, no, you find three empty vials. You find two with stuff in them. Okay, I'm going to take the two and give them to Hajime. Hajime. Batbayar hands you two vials of some unknown fluids. Ew. Wow, thanks. No worries. Be happy. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I just I just I just like these particular wait, 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 actually. What about this guy? I'm gonna check his person. Huh? Oh. Well yeah, you we find his hammer. Okay, everybody. I'm gonna take his hammer. And, uh, and he that. had a full suit of Oyore armor on him. Oh. I feel like there's a certain amount that I can carry on me, and I don't think I can take an entire set of armor. Uh, you can carry a lot. <laughs> oh, okay, then I, I will take his armor. Okay. Uh, so that's one hammer. Uh, what's the name of the hammer, Sal? Um, hammer. the hammer is a war hammer. Uh, excuse me, no, it's not, it's an earthbreaker. Earthbreaker. Um, and... Yeah, it's a masterwork earthbreaker, in fact. Yeah. Hell yeah. Masterwork earthbreaker. Uh, my eye is twitching. And Great. while I'm, I guess, leaving this guy naked to rot, what's well, the name I mean, of the armor? He has his clothes on. Head headless and and naked. Oh yeah, but I have his head, <laughs> so it's in a good home. Yeah. Uh, and his helmet. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I should take that off. Um, sorry. What was the name of the armor again? Oh, Yoroi. Oroi, okay. Oh, Yoroi. I don't know how to actually pronounce that. Um, okay. Uh, it's all right. Spelled like this. Let me see. 
we can probably sell these unless someone who can <coughs> use them needs them. All right, I'm done. So I I missed. Are we harvesting this fox woman's no. tails? No. I want to. No. Oh, but... <laughs> well, I mean, if you really want to, but I don't think there's any benefit. <laughs> well, it would be it would be cool proof that we. I, well, I guess I guess that he might just accuse us of having a, a, de de a decapitated fox head. If we get the tails, then I mean they're pretty they're pretty cool tails, and then afterwards we can make them into some sort of like fancy uh, stole or something. Kazumi breaks out of her oh, stupor really right. and comments that hey, maybe we shouldn't just like take the body parts off of a sentient creature for nebulous things. I mean, well, I'm, I'm saying th I'm saying we're we're, we're doing it to prove it. I kind of stare into my well, head. I thought saying. we already got her head. But he no, might just say, he, he might just say it's a fox head. Also, I guess we are not evil technically. We shouldn't be making potions out of things. Then again, we know a witch, and she's pretty cool. I'll ask her when we get back. It's not like the body's going anywhere. The body goes somewhere. And I want I want <laughs> one of those tails to cool. <laughs> They're, they're gorgeous, and let's, she let's, was evil. Let's hit the streets. I like the idea of you like gluing your trophy on the back. Like now, I have a fox tail. What are no. you doing? <laughs> she might. I don't know. Get it. She might possess you. Oh yeah. well, maybe they're evil. Yeah, who knows? All right. Okay. I am done. Basically, doing what I was doing. Are you though? I mean, I I didn't suggest that I was gonna eat them this time. So there's that. That's true. This Take a win. <laughs> um, so, you proceed outward? Yes. And onward? Yes. Yes. I'm also not in disguise anymore. Ah. Because uh, I gave it to uh, Suru there, right? Or not Suru. Yes, but she, uh, she left oh. dressed in her own clothing. Oh. Which she found. That's she good. didn't give it back to you. Yeah. <laughs> a little thoughtless. But uh, perhaps it's still around if you want to. Nah. This is all part of my plan. Okay. <sighs> okay, let's see. Huh. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, yes. All right. Are you all shucking off your, uh, it's shucking off our disguises? Disguises? No, I think I'm going to benefit by being small, so I'm going to stay for a bit. Unless I'm tempted to just take it off just to make sure that this is not permanent, because I've had it on for a while now. But I also kind of... Over yeah. a day, in fact. Yeah, so I'm... You know what? Uh, first, I'm going to make sure that there's enough space around me. Well, you have exited from the uh, the peasant's little house. The old man remains sleeping on his bed. Okay. Um, He's a heavy sleeper. You are, you are in the streets now. Well, uh, it is nighttime. I Which, asked... by the way, it's it. So you guys know it. It's nighttime at this point, it, oh, okay. or rather, early evening. But early evening. So there's still people around. I mean, yes. That is true. There are definitely still people around. Mm hmm. Good. Well, all right. What I'm going to do is I'm. Oh, there's still people around. Okay. Um. Is there an alley? Like that we can go. Well, an alley is smaller than me. I I assume width wise. Um. It would require a bit of squeezing for you. Uh. Okay. I guess I'll go down into an alley and I'll ask Sada to please be on the lookout. Because I don't want people to know that I'm here, since there is a very ad ad admirable fan of mine. 
who I don't want to know that I'm here. All right. Uh, I take off my necklace. Play the music. Okay, one second. The, the Sailor, Sailor Moon? Moon? No, you don't have to play anything and don't bother. I don't really want to. It was a joke. Uh, well, I wanted to do it. Okay, okay. well. But, um, Go ahead and play it. Okay, I'm going to play the you... Sailor Moon theme now. All right, have fun. Never mind, I wanted to actually find the Transformers theme for transforming, and I can't find it. Okay, I take it off. Do you now? <laughs> Alright. That is pretty good. Yeah. All, all your limbs just fold out with that sound. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> Alright. Well, hopefully that, has, that is what's happening and I'm not stuck as an elf. No, no, you take it off and you return to your centaur form once more. But all your clothes okay. rip. Uh, you're naked. <laughs> well, I was um, technically well, wearing pants, right? Yeah, you were wearing pants. Now you're not. Your shirt's fine. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. The last time we did this, the clothes actually changed with the thing, if I recall. Yeah. Mm, you're recalling this. correctly. They explicitly were not. Hmm. Okay. I like unless I recall incorrectly. Well, we have recordings for that, so we'll check later. Um, I guess I like stretch and make sure that all my parts are, you know, not like you know. It's like it's... you never left them. Okay, good. I put back on the necklace. Well, you're gonna be not an elf this time. You're gonna be something else. No, I know. It's never. this is the exciting. This is my favorite thing about this necklace. We don't know what the. Uh... Well, now that a uh, waitress who fell in love with you is never going to see you again. Yep. Yep. Roll a d100, please. She'll fall in love with. Uh... I don't even remember what I called myself. No. Uh, <laughs> Azam. Azam. Yeah. 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 Uh, what the hell? Oh. Roll 1d100. Okay, that was weird. Keep getting an unrecognized command. Why? Can you not do this without the 1? You can. Okay. Okay. And now, wait. Because I didn't necessarily expect you to do this, so I have to find the list. <laughs> Here it is. Alright, what did you roll? A 24? Yes. Oh, goodness. Um, all right. The world spins, and suddenly you find your perception different. Much different. You look down at your hands and find them to be reptilian claws. And then, looking down into a conveniently placed puddle, <laughs> you find that you have been transfigured into a kobold. A oh, very, no. very broad shouldered kobold. <laughs> and a kobold nonetheless. Oh no. The buffest um, kobold. Wait, kobolds are enjoyable, right? We tolerate <laughs> kobolds. Yeah? Sure. Okay, good. I'm not gonna walk into the street and I mean people don't really love kobolds very much, no. Uh hmm. I could take it off. You could, yeah. Okay, I guess I'm gonna. Hmm. Is there any advantage of being a cobalt? Nope, I take it off. All right, you are no longer a cobalt. You are now a centaur once again. Okay, uh, since I already rolled a six, you wanna just use that, or you want me to reroll again? Ah, uh, reroll. Okay. Boom, sixty-eight. One oh, off so of the close. sex number. <laughs> sixty-nine if, if, is. If you, if you roll sixty-nine, you use Pathfinder vices. You. There's a flop noise, and you look down, and you look remarkably similar. In fact, you've been this way before. You are a human. Oh. Oh. Well, huh. huh. This is a very uh, particular feeling. I have legs. Again. Yeah. <laughs> I've always had legs, Batfire. <laughs> Never yes, remember when you didn't have legs. Well, I, I suppose you're all right. I don't, all have, right. I don't have fucked up horse legs. Southern gentleman right now. I don't know. <laughs> 
part of the it's, enchantment. It's, it's, it's the curse. Yeah. Oh shit. He <laughs> is rather <laughs> enchanting. Thank you very much, sir. Well, I'm gonna The curse! Wait, the curse wait a second. Uh, uh, Am I right. still wearing pants? Um no. it did burst off you, huh? Yeah, that sort of happened the first time you turned into a centaur. So I do not look over here. I need to Pantsless man over here. <laughs> I need to make shift. All right, Somebody... let's uh, go consult Pathfinder Vices to determine dong size. Oh my goodness! <laughs> uh, you just continue. I'll, I'll get back to you. As... Okay, sir. Um, oh. is my shirt at least long enough to cover my? Um, Nether you region? just came out of a house. Yeah. You're standing in front of it. Okay. I throw back a pair of pants from the house. <laughs> All right. Let's get this going. Vampire, you have now a pair of pe peasant's pants. They're a little awesome. tight on you, but you can manage. Okay. Thank you, Sada. <laughs> Let's uh, make our way down to the shelf. All right. and, uh, you know... Let's march, march our way down. Yep. Yeah. All right, you begin to march, leaving the street that the house is on. You immediately forget where it is. Wait, still? Uh, oh, still? Jeez. Oh. I figure that was just the Oni. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting. Sometimes ma magic can survive a its cast. <laughs> we all we forget we forget the hideout ever existed. No, you remember the hideout. <laughs> the hideout exists, and you know how yeah. to get into it. It's just you don't remember the exit. Yeah. Or the, yep. or the exit ends up. Um, so you march. How brazen are you being with this march through the streets and where exactly are you marching very brazen into the I, sheriff's office i mean i'm just following what uh, i have been told to do it i think going very brazen is a markedly bad idea trust me i part of my plan what is the plan i can't say that or sal's will ruin it oh <laughs> That's not a good plan, then. Who is Sal's? I am uh, I don't understand. Well, now Sal's is terrified. <laughs> yep. Not particularly. Cowed. All right. He's a cow, too. Huh. Yeah, so, to you cow. begin traveling down. You reach one of the main uh, three streets that leads towards the center of town. Um, you walk. Uh, Bat Bear immediately... Uh, actually, no, he doesn't. He's a human again. Uh, so you walk um, in wearing your normal armor, armor and uh, your ninja getup, um, leading four, uh, six clearly beaten people, uh, and your entourage. You uh, proceed forward and attract a, a small amount of attention. People see you going past. You uh, you walk th past the confluence of the three streets, um, past the town's main inn, and past uh, the much nicer inn that in which uh, Cesare has just now had his realization that he forgot about something. <laughs> the children. Yes. The very same. Uh, he uh, sees that they are out of uh, out of their disguises and marching uh, boldly down the street. And he turns around on his foot, walks back into the inn, and continues to pretend not to know them whatsoever. This okay. is a sound strategy. <laughs> I, so, he Kasumi. tries to make eye contact with Kasumi and the hand sign, like, what are you doing? I Kasumi is, by the way, not walking with the group. She's a good few paces back. Okay. Uh, uh, Alright, so you, so like a couple yards? I mean, I, I'm far enough to not look like I'm with them. I'm also not blue. Alright, yeah. so you're several yards away. You're yeah. just sort of following them. You look like you're one of the crowd members. Um, could you roll a, a bluff for me? Just to blend in. A, a, a it, bluff it, to... A disguise, okay. you mean? Well, disguise, actually. But no, you're already disguised, uh, and we already determined that the disguise is good. Uh, actually, a bluff. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be very good. 
Yeah, that's fine. It's just to see how good it is. Mm. Yeah. Um, you don't... You meld into that crowd fine. You're just another face in it. Um, and the... Uh, as you and the small crowd follows the procession down over to the... Uh, uh, the command post of the town's police force. Uh, four uh, of the policemen approach you as you approach, um, sort of barring your way, and uh, the one of them, who has a badge on his conical hat, goes, what is the meaning of this? And why are you leading these men through the streets? A part of the criminal organization that's been terrorizing your town. And, uh, Bapayar. There is murmuring going through the crowd. Bapayar, the heads? Oh, yes. Here you go, sir. Present, <laughs> present the heads to... of, of the leaders. Very, very <laughs> good, sir. Here you go. Very oh. taken aback. Um... And... He, he steps back a second before uh, leaning in a bit uh, and examining them from a healthy distance and goes, if I didn't make, if I wasn't, that's Kozuhama. You killed them? Yep. Well, they tried to and kill us first. That's either the head of a very big fox or... <laughs> that's the Oni who's been terrorizing your town. You need to speak with, uh, with Saigo. I mean, you need to speak with Chief Kono. Correct. They, uh, they lead you forward with a few more steps towards it, and they open the great doors, um, and you get to look right in, straight through. Uh, the doors are open all the way through, and uh, Saigo is taking a little tea break over some papers. And he looks up at you, approaching him. Um, so it's you, Batbayar, Hajime, and Paulina. Hajime and Paulina, are you still in costume? Hmm. I was, I was thinking probably. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like my costume what? too much to give I mean, it up. He, he knows who I am. Regardless. Yeah. <laughs> All right. His eyes alight on pa Paulina, on each of you in turn, before settling on Sada. And as soon as he realizes that Sada is dressed, uh, is dressed as Sada and is clearly boldly going around as herself, he, ha he spits his tea <laughs> directly back into his uh, cup and goes... But quickly recovers and goes, um, can I help you? Hello there. Like the, Hello there. I, I came to report that, uh, we've taken care of your town's, uh, criminal, criminal, organized crime problem. Excellent. You did. Yes. Do you have proof? <laughs> I motion back air forward again. There you go, sir. <laughs> ah, that is unmistakably... Kozohama Yamakochi, and I presume his Oni manipulator. Yep. Yes. Excellent. Very good. You brave adventurers who are certainly no one else of consequence. <sighs> says meaningfully to you, Sada. Hmm. <laughs> we'll come in, the five of you, and, uh, and we'll have this cloud, crowd dispersed, and you can stay here tonight. And we can discuss things. How you are to be rewarded for your great work. Um... I... Sada? What? Might I speak for you, too, like, on the side? Okay. Okay. Let's not do that. Hmm. I, I heavily advise you to not sleep here. In an unknown house that we don't know the floor layout of. 
Well, it might be best to stay here, but not sleep, I whisper. Also, that. question, why did you decide to do this out in the open without the disguise? Actually, why did I even not question it till now? In case yeah. he's trying to arrest us for being the, the rebels in charge, I was going to say it wasn't a, a very good idea because we just showed all the townspeople that we took care of the problem they haven't been able to take care of for months. Okay, well, if he asks, Batpire the Centaur is not with you, I am Batpire 1. <laughs> Alright. Okay. We carry on then. So, so, can will you uh, come in into these more private chambers? All right. All right. Uh, the five of you walk in. The uh, these six, I presume, are ne'er do well employees of the former organization. Yes. All right. Well, you, 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 and you take them away. Uh, you and you disperse the crowd. You, you. Go home. <laughs> the two people are sort of told to go home. Uh, shrug and and but first close up everything before you do. There is a flurry of movement. The six are brought off somewhere else, presumably to be processed. Um, a number of people are a uh, number of police are out dispersing the crowd, and Psycho very quickly uh, so, sort of flutters around. Uh, making sure that everybody, everything is locked up, closed up, and that there are no, uh, none of his fellow police in the building. Until finally, it is just you, five, excuse me, you four, in his office, and him. Mm -hmm. As soon as that is done, he whirls on you, Sada Ryudo. And he goes, what are you thinking? Traipsing through the town in out, without its disguise. When you had such a good one before. Do you think I'm the only person who can recognize you? No. There's 600 soldiers in this town. Do you think you could take them all on? Probably. <laughs> well, I don't. And personally, I don't want to be stuck on a pike along next to you after you lose. Jeez, spoil sport. <laughs> Get a load of this guy. Is that what Hajime says? <laughs> That's what he's thinking. <laughs> Big eye roll. What even was your plan coming here? Hmm. Well, he wanted... The these guys taken care of, didn't you? Yes. Thank you. You could have done that as your alternate selves. I had hoped that you would have. I wanted to make a statement. Well, the statement is, come kill me. I'm right here. Also, hmm. kill everyone associated with me, which includes me, which I'm not happy about, if you can't tell. Hmm. If I were to make a uh, inquiry, I don't even know how to get you to Asahi now. What? And he, he mumbled uh, something to himself. No, I know. Did I not hear that? Oh, he said, "I don't even know how to get you to Asahi now." No, yeah. What the, What do you mean by that? Asahi Kono, my cousin, or rather Kono Asahi. I sorry, I screwed up my <laughs> ordering. Um. The magistrate of the town, the person that you actually need to have on your side. Hmm. In all honesty, okay. The matter of Sada's identity can be very hidden very well, I can assure you that. Presuming it has not already been revealed. Ah. Hey, Sada. What? We can trust this man, yes? I suppose. Okay. Hey, you. You? Sorry. I am Kono Saigo, the chief of police. Yes? I take off my necklace. All right. There is the sound of uh, damaged wood as and torn paper as your rear half uh, 
pushes through the paper uh, sliding door, causing it to oh. shatter, and your horns uh, <laughs> slam into the ceiling. This is not the impact I wanted to have on you, but hello, I am bad by our guard of Sada. Yes, I know. Um, oh. Thank you. Again, I am a police officer, and I'm halfway decent at it. Your disguises did not necessarily fool me. Especially oh. once I determined that one of you were here, it is easy to piece together the rest of you. Oh. Although I'm wondering why you're not traveling without Sh why you're traveling without Chazari. <laughs> uh, Chazari does what Chazari wants. Uh, wow, a baby's like... gotta do. <laughs> gotta do. Okay, I'm. Yes, yeah, the... the problem isn't with hiding Sada. The problem is that the town knows that Sada is in it now. No, yeah. I understand. Here's the plan. This is what I was trying to uh, prove a point before I destroyed his office. <laughs> And I hold up this necklace. There's simply what anybody could use this, I think. So I'm just gonna give it to Sada for now. He raises his eyebrow. Yes. All right. Good. Are you just gonna stay in his house? That forever? leaves the new problem that you're even more recognizable at a glance than Sada is. Yeah. Yes, but I have a fan. Oh, what? You have a fan. Yes. He grabs and... his fan. His Fan, leaves it open, and goes, I have a fan, too. No, okay. Bob pulls out her fan out of her robes. I From... also have a fan. No, very listen. Nice. It's, very, it's very fetching. No, I, th I believe I... I have come to remember that I have an admirer in this town, and, well, to be fair, I could probably do something with that. But I don't know if... I don't know if one date is enough to hide... He's not talking about him. To... Oh. He's talking about the no, guy I... you met. Who bought yeah. that pair's big ass robes? Oh, I met you him. Don't, you, don't, you don't know about that guy. No, I, I met him. Told you. Oh, you met him? I'm pretty sure I met him. Didn't I meet him? And I was like incredibly uncomfortable around him. Oh, uh, okay. So, so, did I meet him? I think you were there when Chazari sold him the clothes. Yeah, I think you oh, were working the, the But was I in the room? Together. So you were, I think, yeah, I thought, I thought you were doing your bodyguard shtick for... Uh, right, and then, like, yeah, he's doing it, I'm, like, being quiet and mental. Yeah, I, I said I was mentally screaming inside. Okay. No, you weren't there, because you were waiting out... If this was when I was talking to him in the... I mean, it's not important. It's fine to say that you do know who it is. But if this was when I was talking to the guy in the, whatever, like, the licensing office, mm -hmm. you were waiting outside. You just heard it, because... Like, um, we're I was... in the same chat channel. Then I, I misremembered, but basically I wanted to, like... Yeah, but no, but I'm, just, I'm just thinking, later that guy came to your cart and bought stuff. Yeah. That is true. So oh, I think yeah. that's uh, when Bat Bear would have met him. Yeah. Uh, he would and have essentially... known the full extent of the perfection. And it's... Well, we can always go back. Uh, basically, let, me, let me just toss out my idea, and if, like, it is within, like, you know, acceptable parameters, we can do it. Uh, so that guy, I presume, is probably, from what I got, rich, or at least wealthy. So he would probably be interested in the idea of, hey, there's uh, a trope going about impersonating troop. the... Is that not how you say it? Troop. Troop, thank you. Um impersonating the rebels from above and one of them has done a really good job of impersonating that giant centaur on their team and i don't know he could be our sponsor or something what i'm improvising on the spot here so the issue is is if like sure if if that's how we went into the town in the first place but we've already yeah. shown the hand Right, okay. We already have like the criminals on pikes and you know march to the town and gather a crowd. All right. There's no like, there's I guess the point Sal's making is like you don't walk that back. Like they know. Yeah, I understand. All right. Then I guess that was the point. I've seen it. Yeah. Then I guess the so that then the uh, the police officer couldn't like entrap you guys and be like, oh great, so I'm just gonna take credit for it and pretend like you guys didn't do any of that, which I understand. Yeah. But you yeah, can't just like throw. You can't just like throw like a flash bomb on the ground and be like, "Ah, yeah. oh, I can. Yeah. I'm a ninja." Uh, yeah, okay. but it won't solve the problem. <laughs> well, at, at the realization that like apparently everything was known from the start, I put back on the necklace. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Well, 
I have to get that. Uh, where did I put that? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, there it is. And he turns into a sperm whale and crushes us all to death. <laughs> have oh, I actually? Uh, you are now a half elf. Oh great! Uh, <laughs> this is nice. this is okay. All right. You're half of the elf you used to be. What? What am I half of? Like human? Yeah. So you don't have pants again. Uh, that is true. <laughs> Way to fucking go. This whole thing is a mess. Does 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 Batbear have very stretchy underwear? No. No. Yeah, he's got Hulk have not pants been invented. on. <laughs> he's been wearing these little purple booty shorts the whole time. Well, that's the thing. Like, even if that was true, whenever he turned into a centaur, what would that do? Would the leg holes just stretch from one leg to the other? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or does it move with it so that they're only Wait. around his like rear end? Are you picturing that fucking meme with the dog wearing pants? Because I'm not no, picturing I... he'd wear them on all of his legs, just the backwards. Would he wear pants like this? Or like this? <laughs> my no, my point is that he's wearing them as a human. Yeah. So that uh. when he becomes a centaur, yeah. does like, how do they move? I don't know, dude. I, th I would, I would which, assume that... Witchcraft. That the back legs, that the they still legs have the butt. erupt so... out his stomach and just yeah. carry his t the top of his torso. Yeah, forward. I would picture, like, yeah, it lengthens the midsection. Okay. So he has his butt would still be in the same place. And that's where yeah. his legs are. Okay. The point is, he doesn't own a pair of stretchy underwear like that. But it might be a good thing to invest in the future. Yeah. It's a magic <laughs> Magic magic underwear. Magic underwear it's automatically resize. So. It's not this is not secretly like this is not actually a quest to get back to the throne. It's basically the throne <laughs> to the inevitable revelation of an invention called one uh one size fits all. <laughs> get battleless on it. Uh okay, uh I invented uh, clockwork one size fits all underwear. <laughs> it's not comfortable, and it doesn't actually fit all, and it fails in every. <laughs> I'm an engineer, why are you having me do this? Uh, okay, I, I owe you an apology, Mr. Uh, sir. I, uh, I, I am a woman. No. <laughs> oh my god. For a second, I thought, wait. Am I that bad at taking details down? Okay. Because <laughs> it hasn't been a while. All right. But I do apologize for my uh, lack of disrespect. I suppose I was trying Your to... Your lack, lack of disrespect. disrespect. <laughs> my lack of... Whatever. My lack of respect, sir. Respect. Let us Why? get through this one. Me... I'm going to be quiet now. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing pants? You don't have magic uh, pants. That's just how the magic does. Yeah. Yes. Psycho walks through his destroyed door over to a cabinet, God. opens it up, and grabs a pair of pants out of it and throws it to you. Thank you. We would we would fix this if we had our magic wizard guy. Too bad he's dead forever. But we don't have that power. Oh man. We have to presume that someone has already recognized you for who you are and yep. has gone to tell Hamatori. Yeah, because this town is loyal to the false Hajime and yeah. we're, re we're, rebel, we're rebel criminals. Yes. So, Is there an elder temple in this town, Sals? There is a shrine. Shrine, okay. A popular one? I mean, regardless, those 600 soldiers are going to be a problem. Uh, the people here are not, it's not an overly religious town, okay. but, you know, the, the, well... I guess I'm asking how integrated is the Elder Temple into the political structure of this town? They're working on it. Uh, <laughs> okay. The political structure is... Have I seen them at the, at the fancy inn? <laughs> uh, no, you have not. Oh. But okay. you have occasionally seen uh, people in gray uh, robes walking around, okay. preaching. Helping people out, giving alms to the poor. Sure, what good people those elder temple guys are. Yeah. Right. Actually, the the, the regular elder clerics, uh, clerics might not mm -hmm. be that bad.
but then they turn into skeletons. I mean, everyone has a skeleton inside them. <sighs> what if the Turkses could manipulate all our skeletons? Is that his grand plan? I mean, he's if like yeah, uh, his plane of existence. He can. Yeah, he's like Magneto, but his power <laughs> is he controls skeletons. <laughs> uh, did I space out? Yeah, yeah. You always do. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of a solution right now. Nothing's coming though. I am open to ideas because, really. as I believe, in my opinion, it would behoove us to flee the city as quickly as possible. Okay. Well, do you have a uh, trap door that leads into like a secret tunnel? What if you just arrested no. them? Ooh. Wait, neither of us are here, though. I know. That's true. What if, what if, and Cesare, unfortunately, cannot... Uh, what if, Sada, Sada speaks of what if you arrest us? <laughs> that's totally my own That's totally my own original idea. Nobody else came up with it. Yeah, what if you arrest them and put them on trial and then realize... <laughs> whatever. Oh. I th they I th did all I th this good wait. stuff, and then finally you're like, "Oh, the town is that's actually good for I, this people." Oh, I get it. Okay. I thought. I thought. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I first, I like to meet with your cousin, though. That I do not believe is possible. Hmm. But there's but somebody who would still be tried can. by her, so you'd meet her then. And she'd be the one you'd have to convince not to kill you, so that's good. Mm. Hopefully. Presuming that Hamatori doesn't take over the proceedings. It would not be his right to, but he does have an army with him. And Hamatori know. is the Shogun's general or whatever stationed here? Yes, he At is. Commander, corporal, whatever. Officer. Yes, he is the samurai commander of the army based in Kamako. I see. But this could work. It certainly allow me to save face, and then... Kasumi is not with you. Nope. Also part of my plan, because I know how... <laughs> she would never go for this plan. <laughs> hmm. I should have started questioning if something... <laughs> Oh well. If you die, I die. It's, it's, it sucks. Good. The fact that you have allies on the outside should assist should this come to a more violent escape. But if you are arrested, then you would be tried by my cousin. And then she would decide your fate. And if she chooses to try and have you executed, then I hopefully have replaced my own security men with those of Hamatori's so that they get killed instead. <laughs> Brilliant. Or, or you could just like escape the prison. Having everybody think that Sada died would probably be problematic for the revolution. But I'm not here, so forget about that. <laughs> Having you pretend to be dead would be problematic for the... <laughs> no. I don't like, like that because it is getting dangerously close to putting me in charge. <laughs> I don't think we would pretend that Sada died at all. My, uh, what I'm thinking is that if, if Asahi decides that you all deserve to be executed as rebels, then you'll certainly fight your way out. I'm quite aware of your capabilities and that several of you don't need weapons. So... I am a weapon. And no doubt... <laughs> Sumi's been in the room the whole time. In the shadows. Sumi will... Uh, chase down some reinforcements for you in the meantime. The but reinforcements are already here. If... Asahi can be convinced 
through the trial that you are of clear benefit to Kamako, then she may let you leave unharmed. And if you were to then arrive with your own army, you would have to somehow get Hamatori out in the field. If you attack him while he's, uh, if you try besieging him, Kamako, you'll lose. Mm. He'll just uh, wait reinforcements from the capital and then. Hmm. Well, maybe perhaps that will be a plan for when it comes to it, but what do you think of this? Sounds good. Well, I'm sure Hamatari, but I'm sure Hamatari won't take kindly to me marching out of town either. So that might be oh. some bait as well. He may indeed follow you. Are your armies nearby? I'm sure they will be soon. <laughs> soon he's already left town. <laughs> that inspires confidence. Just ensure that I'm near her. Actually, it's a good idea. Half of our army is stationed nearby. Um, I can send Iago out. Ah, uh, yes. Kasubi just leaves town. Okay. This All is right. not what I expected. No one stops you. The gate is guarded by a couple of sleepy policemen. They go... I feel uh, like you shouldn't leave town. <laughs> but why? Because you'd be more valuable in town, because the situation is tense. And if all you're doing is getting the army, that can be done by a simple message. I send Mino. Okay. That, wait, you, Mino's not. Mino is not in town. I I well, send, send Diago. He's probably met with Chazari by now. I'm sure. Yeah, I'll yeah <laughs> I'll meet with Chazari and be like, "Yo, dog, she's fucked up." I try to uh, telepathically. Looks up pretty Marco. fucked up from here. <laughs> uh, peak fucked up achieved. I try to um, telepathically reach Marco. <laughs> you see Batfire just like concentrating super hard. Mm. His brow is furrowed. Um. A little fart escapes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eo's not very far from Kamako. EO and if we tried hard. to draw them out into the uh, tile north of Kamako, then we could station our army in the tile south of Eo. Hmm. Um, how many men do we have? 500. I believe. Also, Hajime, Pal, and Bapa are still maintaining their disguises, so... You could just arrest me. I'm sure they'd be set... They, the, no. they'd be... They know they... that they were traveling with you. Questions would be uh, raised about who they were in relationship to you. Well, Bapa already changed form, so... Um, I don't know if you'd realize, notice this, but he looks surprisingly a lot like himself. Damn. Despite what race he is. What? Oh, no. Wait. You still look like... You still have same facial features, and you're still freaking buff, like... Turn into a kobold again, Bapa. Okay, if you were <laughs> willing to take the damages to your office, I could leave this place... Looking very different from what you anticipate. In fact, I probably should make sure to ask you for your permission. Could I have permission to change? I'll take my pants off first. Um, <laughs> An aide like, walks by and says, nice. Roll intelligence. Okay. Actually, any three of you in the room, roll intelligence. Any of the four of you in the room. All right. <laughs> Definitely in my strong suit. Are you calling yourself an idiot? Uh, yeah. I've got average ass intelligence. Damn. Well, let's hope that Bat Buyer rolls high. 14. We're dumb. 16. Oh, God. Hey, Ajime. Yeah. Um, for one thing, you have a weird. Oh, you still have your mutagen on. Um, a weird what? 
You had a weird minus one, but then I realized. Oh, I, I'm trying. I thought I got rid of that minus one. God damn. Um, so uh, you remembered that Bat Bayar's thing necklace when you're first testing out only works three times per day. Oh no. Uh, oh yeah. Oh. Should probably remember and that. He is on his last one. Okay. Easily. In fact, I think he passed it earlier, and I just forgot. I also forgot. Sorry. Okay. Never mind. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming Hajime is not going to let Batbuyer take it off. Because I don't know that. Hajime? Wait, what did you... I don't He's understand what you said. you if you stop him from taking it off, and I assume that you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, did I word that yeah, yeah, badly? Sure. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that would be a problematic. I wouldn't even be able to leave the building. So no, I think it has to be all of you. All right. <sighs> and I'm assuming we want to have our weapons on us. Yeah. Uh, is that normally how for... criminal trials work? <laughs> Are you sure? Well, it would be a lot easier if they did. <laughs> yeah, you just have a gun. <laughs> Okay, let me see if it still is applying the... Okay, no, it's not. Good. It will raise suspicions, though, if I'm able to somehow arrest you all by myself. Unfortunately, well, it's all the other policemen. Uh, yeah, I we're mean, awesome. I mean, here, I could just punch myself and give myself a... No. I mean... You could anyways. No, well, let's, just... let's hear him out. Okay. I could beat everybody else up first. Then beat myself. Go on. <laughs> and then say that you, like, betrayed them. I mean, yeah. no, you could just, the guys could just say that they, like, submit willingly, they obey the law. Yeah. When the law what? is just. Man. I guess. It would get you points in trial that you didn't, like, put up a fight and resist arrest. It's actually yeah, a pretty good point. That is a mm. pretty good point to somebody that of... <laughs> Some, somebody had. Hey. Actually, that would be a good point that Kershaw Strauss might think of. Yeah, he's not here though. Oh. Chis- <laughs> the part, the clouds part a little, and like the face of Chisari is there, whispering <laughs> words of wisdom. I My swear children. to God, you guys, <laughs> why did you do this? <laughs> I actually don't know why we did this. I was having a nice meal. <laughs> the clouds are actually outside the window, and it's Kazumi that's uh, making them. <laughs> You see her like wiggling her hands around all dramatically. Right, right, right. She's doing shadow puppetry. <laughs> uh, okay. I suppose we could turn ourselves in willingly. We obey the law. All right. Mm. So, yeah. well, then Hajime and Paulina, or rather, uh. Sir Yudo and Ms. Khalil. Superman? I don't think you're. Yep. Costumes, your disguises are necessary any longer at this juncture. Aww. I I rip it off like it's tearaway pants. <laughs> it was. Ah. <gasps> nice. I invented the tearaway pants. <laughs> and underneath yes. another disguise, but it's a fireman. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work nearly as well. Um all right. Uh, so, I will now place these upon you. Hold out my hands. He manacles them. And he manacles your legs as well. Wow. Damn. It's a good thing I hey. have a lot of manacles. Where'd you get all these manacles? I'm a police officer. Boy, how'd oh. your mom let you get this many manacles? <laughs> all right. Soon, the four of you have been manacled fully. Uh, I don't know. Okay. This is a great. This it doesn't seem like a good idea. But uh, Pal would. I slide of hand a lock pick on me. I feel like Pal would rather she would feel more Die. useful if she wasn't on trial but was available to help if something went wrong. She's our defense attorney. No, <laughs> definitely not with my That's uh, of negative one. I have like the perfect track for like describing this entire fuck like fuck up. One second. You have the perfect what? Track. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Mansion basement, that reminds me just, just of wait. what's going on right now. Just wait. There you go. Oh, another yeah. mansion basement. You didn't play it the first time. <laughs> sure is good that I kept uh, Tomb Bomb in. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Piece of shit song. <laughs> Why did we do this? Okay. Oh, it's leave. Never mind. Leave. Get out. <laughs> okay. Right, leave this place. <laughs> so, what are Kazumi and Chizari doing? I Did presume I... they've met up. <laughs> I feel like Chizari. No, Chizari does not know what's going on. He sees Kazumi and is just like. Uh, f fitfully drinking tea and trying to make conversation with these other merchants. Yeah, and also Chisari is in the wealth is in the high end uh, tea house restaurant sort of thing. Um, Kasumi, you're stopped at the door by a uh, server, and he tells you, "I'm sorry, Miss. Clearly, you're not from around here. There is a dress code for this establishment." <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Uh, well, fuck. I don't know. I yelled. Uh, wait, what? 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 We agreed that Shinari's uh, secret name was. Uh, That's a good question. It was Yobuda Toshiro. Hey, Yobuda, get the fuck out of here! I leave. Okay. Well, some street ruffian just called my name, and I obviously don't associate with those types, so. Sip, sip. <laughs> but then I... Um... The, your fellow merchants nod. <laughs> uh, right, right, right. But uh, after a while, I excuse myself to, you know, re refresh myself with um, various perfumes and items of elegance. <laughs> uh, is there a window in the bathroom? <laughs> One of the people um, it, comes in the bathroom. You're like halfway out the window. It's fully like steamed hams. Um, it, it there is. Uh, it's uh, it's a slatted window. Yeah, I just want to talk out of it. Okay. Assume <laughs> me roll uh, perception. I roll perception. I can roll bluff to pass secret message. Although it doesn't really quite. Oh yeah, no, I can do that. So I like talk, I talk loudly in the bathroom, but it's supposed to be a secret message to attract Kasumi's attention. All right. Where is my character sheet? Kasumi, oh, wait. Oh, perception still. Uh, okay. Uh... All right, that was my secret message. Wow. Very secret. All right, Kasumi, you are attracted to the voice of Kasumi. Um, <laughs> I mean, relating go that to far. you a lot of information without actually telling you what he is saying <laughs> somehow. I I just whisper loudly through the window. Sorry, get the fuck out of here. I am staying where I am. I okay. Well, I need your help with things. It does look like that's the case. Um, what happened? Sada. <laughs> well, it's he checks. Uh, he he, but he does the fake out thing where he like looks at his wrist, but there's no watch. It's uh the second day of us being here. <laughs> I believe. Third. Did you uh, happen to storm a castle? No, we killed a whole bunch of bandits and like a a, a fox demon. Uh, I guess. Right, that's an important distinction. Of course. Yeah. And then stormed the castle. And then we stormed another castle. I'm well, related to the first. My advice is um So what was the plan with going to I don't know. Yeah, she didn't talk to us. She didn't? Well, why did you decide to go after the bandits in the first place? Uh, well, apparently Pow was like I got caught by the guards I know, uh -huh. and 
like the the police chief, I guess, was like, "Hey, y'all, we'll we'll help you out if you like scratch our back and we'll put in a good word." Type deal. I see. So the police chief is on our side. Yeah. Okay. Seems well, my like advice it. is then to get arrested, and we'll try and work things out with the goodwill. So I should get arrested? No. I don't think they know that you're around. Is that correct? Not really, no. Then you should not be arrested. Everybody who h has to be arrested should get arrested. And that will buy us some time in the town. It will save the officer's face. It will um, allow us to speak with the magistrate. And perhaps when we put all of our good deeds on the table, they will um, motion in our favor. I am going to go enjoy my nice dinner with my good merchant friends and um, see if uh, see what how the town is feeling and exactly how a trial is going to shake out, what it's going to look like for you guys. Also, we should probably call the army. Uh, yeah, agreed. Could you send Iago? Yeah, I can do that. I'm just going to ask all of them. Um, there's 600 soldiers here. We only have 500 men. So you're going to have to work a bit of magic if it actually comes to a fight in an open field. I mean, it's me. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd like probably half magic myself. That's a fair point. Um, because in this setting, the elemental planes are magical. As we all Fuck know. Off. Fuck off. It's a true fact that <laughs> everyone knows about. Giant garbage boy. All right. <laughs> he he um he reaches into one of his sleeves and he passes you a scone. I They're very good. I stare at for a few moments begrudgingly. Japan. What did and you say? You wonder how scones got to not Japan. <laughs> it's a Japanese scone. Ah, yes. Oh, it's made with rice. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to Google it. A that. rice cake. No, a rice scone. scone. It's a fusion. Uh, hey, uh, it's hi. It's upscale place. Uh, there is a thing called yuzu, which is apparently a Japanese citrus-flavored scone. All right, I sneak you a yuzu. I begrudgingly take it. <laughs> They're pretty good. Um... <laughs> Thanks. I will try. I so where am I staying? Am I staying in like with a merchant, or is it at this place? Uh, where are my lodgings currently? I've forgotten how where that was established. Probably so. an inn, I imagine, right? Well, I don't know if like this up. Like, yeah, I guess that's my question. Um, you were staying with the uh, bureaucrat, I thought. Yeah, that's also kind of what was in the back of my head. Um, I also tell you the address um, and tell you to be discreet about it, and I can talk to you, or, or I will be available to speak more then. All right. And then I um, make another bluff check to be like, oh, that was a good bathroom time. <laughs> And no deception happened. I took, a, I took a one hell of a banging on the door. I took one hell of a shit. Uh, all right, well, I make a very convincing shit, and <laughs> it's uh, like, oh damn. That bear lies so good. There's actually a smell when he opens the door. <laughs> what? Ah. Shizari, not that bear. Disgusting. He just had some of a uh, Batfire shit with him, just on a session occasion. That's I don't. That's not canon. That's not something Chizari does. I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> I don't uh, collect heads. I don't collect poop. Hey, one of those is not like the other. Okay. How do the so merchants in this inn feel about what has happened? <sighs> about uh, what with that oh, whole thing? They don't really that. know about it. They've been chatting there with you. 
nobody is oh like nobody came into the dorm like oh my god like it i would imagine gossip spreads quickly especially if the leader of the resistance just showed up in kamako yes with... but it's all sort of lower class people that were out and about they don't really come into this establishment but at this point maybe some of the servers have uh, heard whisperings mm -hmm. um Eventually, word would make their way to you, Chazari. And um, how is that word framed? Is it like horrible, murderous, um, bravely captured by cops? Or is it um, brilliant, revolutionary, uh, saves town? Um... It's more of noted rebel, Sada Ryudo, kills bandits, okay. is arrested for rebellion. Okay. What a jerk, but okay, maybe a good thing, though? Right, people are mostly confused by how I <laughs> feel about it. Yes. It's a collective, like, there's, the picture they drew by it was just like a shrug. Well, it's that uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm thing where he's like, eh, eh. <laughs> Let me find it real quick. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, you have the town has mixed emotions. Um as for you, Hajime Bape, Arpalina, and Sada. Yes. Um You have been arrested. Oh no. Yep. Okay. Uh my permanent record. Palina, you were seen with Sada. Saigo suggests I was that wearing my hat and shit though. Yes, so unless you're not going to be wearing your hat and stuff around, which would be an issue in itself, um, yeah. you will be recognized as part of her cohort. I could just sneak away and steal someone else's hat. It's a good <sighs> gift, bird. It is a good gift. You're Telling a policeman you're about to steal something. Oh, okay. Way to be. Yeah, Way to be. All right. She's she's got shackles on. Whatever. It's a joke. She's a, a jokester. She makes it. She's making all the jokes. Saigo somehow summons a large number of police and begins leading you away towards a large house um, that is uh, in the better part of town. Um, the home of the magistrate, Asai Kono, uh, a large three-floor building with a stone first floor. It's rather imposing, actually. As you are being brought up to it, you actually, uh, you are brought inside and the police form a cordon preventing the new crowd that has <laughs> followed um, you, some of which was jeering at you, some of which was thanking you. As you start going into the building and the street is blocked off by the police, you also hear the sound of marching. And just before the door closes, you peer out into the street and see a column of samurai in full armor, wielding Yari, marching around the corner with a particularly uh, important looking one in bright crimson, astride a horse leading them. The samurai Saigo. and their horses. Saigo sees this coming, goes, well, oh, I was afraid of this, and then closes the door. Oh. Um, the police that accompanied you brings you inside a stone room removes your shackles from your feet not from your hands mm -hmm. uh, some servants bring you assorted foods and a change of clothing a robe sort of thing be difficult to dress with the shackles on thank you and uh leave and you hear the door shut and get barred there are no windows all right there are only 
cots and the sounds of your breathing. I meditate. And of a woman's voice yelling at Saigo with Saigo's much quieter, <laughs> much more reasoned responses following them. That wasn't ready for today. Thada sits down and meditates. They look at the I look at the bars. There isn't any bars. Damn it. Wait, what? There's a door. It's just it a has big been door. barred from the other side. Yeah. What's it made out of? It is made out of wood. It looks quite heavy though. They Uh, okay, well, if anything happens, I can break that door down. Probably can. I'm actually kind of perplexed by that. It's a wooden door. You know, it's, wood's pretty heavy. Like, you get getting pretty dense, sturdy wood. No, I know. But Vapire is pretty sturdy. Dense. No, it's just, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just surprising. It's Japanese-style buildings, dude. Oh, fair enough. Okay, it's because, like, as soon as it's like, don't we know magic? Like, that's what I was thinking. Uh, okay, what now? Now we long. wait. We wait. wait. Sals. Sals. Yes. Uh, I had a thought. In addition to sending out for the army, I would like to issue a summons to people that Sada and our regime have helped in our retaking of Shugo and Io, whose lives have been markedly improved, uh, to come to Kamako along with, to come to uh, Kamako in order to testify in our favor. Like, I guess the blacksmith, who we gave a blacksmith. It would be rad if we could get Sir to come, uh, <laughs> Smithy rather. Well, that's the same thing. Uh, I don't know. Those peasant people who are secretly ancient vampires. <laughs> uh, we we call on the peasants and they eat everyone. That's that was my plan all along. Yeah, the super buff grandma. Yeah, she and, she breaks um, the door down. I call the dumpling lady to the sand. And the, of course, the dumpling lady, <laughs> our first and greatest supporter. <laughs> I'm concerned that she's going to say that we sold her. We stole her dumplings. <laughs> uh, please give me a list of the people that you would like to invite. Okay. I will. Can I just like think on that and give it to you? Like, well, no. Point? So six of you. Uh, you oh, can... sure. Right now. All right. Sort of. Uh, I'm going to invite my super hot, literally boyfriend. Tatsu. I'm sorry, <laughs> what is happening? I'm uh, I'm going to try and get uh, people who we've helped in so far in our campaign, like by you know taking over Shugo and Eo and stuff like that, to come to Kamako to testify for you guys. Would like, that just be us is. ratting out a bunch of rebels to like? They already know that Empire, they're rebels. What do you mean? Basically. Oh, also we would be we'd be naming a bunch of people who I don't know, like putting them in danger as well as us. Actively abetting the rebellion is different than living under it. Yeah, Probably and also it. these, I mean, for some people they would just be like, yeah, people whose like lives changed living under it. And then for other people, it would be like people who are specifically loyal to us who are already basically like criminal. Mm. But yeah, I mean, we can just not ask anybody to come sure and we can do the trial on our own. Because like, who is, who is that general that's writing up? You presume that it would be Mr. Uh, Hamatori. He probably wants to take you into his custody. Mm. I'm back. Also, you yeah, should so you should he... also send a message to the Iterons. Because now it seems like a good time uh, to call on that alliance. Might not get us goodwill because the Iterons murdered all. Of no, for, for for the army. Right. When we have to fight six hundred of them, because we only have five hundred. Well, we'll see if he does so. His terms were pretty much like, until you own the North, will I help you? This is pretty much the final step to that. Right, but we don't have it yet. Doesn't hurt but to try. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 
Yeah, it doesn't hurt to try. God, poor, uh, what's his face? Iago. It's gonna have to fly everybody. <laughs> well, I'm yeah. actually thinking with all of these requests, I would actually leave town and get on the horse and try and do this. I don't know how soon the trial will be, but we'd have to stretch it out. The trial is set for one week's time. Mm. Asahi Kono successfully thwarts the efforts of General Hamatori to take you into his own custody, where he would no doubt summarily execute the lot of you. Mm. Uh, I, I like Jazari's getting uh, witnesses idea. <laughs> Well, if it's in a week's time, we not we, they might not be able to get here fast enough. I mean, by horse, maybe, but right. you'd have to count out the... Um, Chazari, I will remind you that all of your cohorts and your usual entourage is just outside the city. Yeah, yeah that's just true. Just so camping send, out there. Send people but all most over. most of our cohorts are not of, like... like they're not Sarugan? They're, yeah, and they're also like they're loyal to us. Like they're not necessarily very good oh. character, character witnesses. witnesses. Oh, you should also send uh, people. Will send a message to Sherado that also aid with the army. I don't know if Shir like Sherado. Oh, aid with their army. Mm. Yeah, maybe. But in that case, that might be like a Kasumi books it for that location. Yeah, uh, Iago books it, and then. I don't know. Iago the books it for Iago books for Shugo and the Iterons and the Wait, troops south. that are currently in uh, Shugo, I think, can make it in a week's time. I was okay. just about to ask that. Yeah. Well, they can make it if they start moving now, but we have to get word to them first. So Iago's the best bet for that because he can fly. But that's that's still like time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Iago will not make it back in time. Also, we don't need them in, exactly in Kamako. We need them just outside of it. Yeah, I, but I'm I'm just also making the point that, like, we can really only summon um, witnesses from EO. Like, they won't get here in time for the trial if we try and get grab people from Shu. Yeah, I'm just saying we should, for the armies, we should get... Because there's we'll still ask... an army of 600. Yeah. We can ask the bees to testify for us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the bees. They're really chill, buzz, buzz, buzz. Two and a half, three, four and a half, six and a half. The troops in Shugo can be at oh nine oh nine. Yeah. Eight and a half days. I. Yeah, I think I think the, once the trial's over and if things go well, we should have that. I can hopefully lure the army into following her. That's the cells. That's specific. How long would it take for Iago to get to Shugo? Let me see. He flies because he also has to sleep. Yep. I give give Iago an uh, energy drink. Big can of Red Bull. Oh man, that sounds good. <laughs> if Iago really, if Iago basically does a forced march, he can do it in a day. Wow, damn Iago! All right, so they can get there in nine days, basically. What a bird is yep. he? A parrot. He's a parrot. That's He's a, a strong very impressive parrot. for a parrot. Mm. Um, yeah. So I could. Uh... What about if he makes a pit stop in EO? Then he would not be able to do it. In a day. I think Chazari should, should go to EO and and uh. Right. So Chazari should go to EO. Uh, Kasumi should go to Shirado, and uh, uh, Iago should go to Shugo and the Iterons. Good plan, leader. Glad you told us. <laughs> well, this is. I mean, this would uh, ostensibly. This is like uh, Kasumi. This is Kasumi and uh, Chazari plotting or whatever. Very quickly in time. Hmm. In time at all. Like, What's what is in Shirado that, that I would need to go there for? Shirado has an army. Yeah, Shirado has an army. Yeah, they their terms for giving us the army or joining us was when our borders touched them. So actually, maybe you should go to EO, and I have the higher diplomacy role. I might yeah. be able to like force Sweet. it. Um, 
And the only reason like a diplomacy role would be needed in EO is to like convince Sir, but Sir is kind of petulant. And even then we don't really need him. Yeah, I would like Sir. Sir is a great character witness. Yeah. Okay. Sure. That's I mean that sounds okay, I guess. The one main issue with the army getting there in nine days, other than the fact that the trial's in seven days, is that the army is going to be exhausted. It's not going to be able to really fight. Yeah. Like, there's just not really enough time for... We're not going... I don't think we're going to get 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 there in nine days at a regular pace. Okay, well, sorry. And also, it's going to take a while for for the army to leave Kamako. So they'll probably still have some time resting in a hex. Not to self. Invest on a highway. We are now that the road rules have changed. Wow, never mind. It's my way, my way, my way to the highway. Kasumi saying, "As long as she gets to town." Okay, well, so then... Kasumi, you proceed north to Eo. Yes. Sure. All right. You quickly uh, meet up with uh, uh, your cohorts and Tatsu and. Uh, well, Kazumi and Shisari are traveling, at least to that point. Oh, um, yeah, if, if we were, I would have sold half of them to go with uh, Shisari. All right, uh, that's the thing. Uh, they, those are two different directions, though. It's due north to Io from Kamako. Yeah, but, but where were Shirado, we? You would proceed south oh, first before I see. traveling so, west. So Shisari never meets up with the cohorts? No. Gotcha. Okay. Shisari solo. Shisari, the lone wanderer. <laughs> All right. Uh, and doing farewell, that, you will so... be able to get back with character witnesses just in time, I believe. Just from EO, though. Just from EO, yes. Yeah. Uh, Chazari will take some extra time to convince people. Or we, or we could get the magistrate of Shirado help clear their hot so, spring of a feral demon. Thing- the only problem with Shirado is they're kind of like slimy business types, and we didn't do any real good for Shirado. They just invited us over to do an underhanded business deal. So I don't know if they're good character witnesses. We Maybe just not. want their troops. Yeah. Yeah. Shirado, the magistrate of Shirado is still a samurai, though. That's mm. true. And I mean, if he's slimy, then he can see a good deal, and I'll be like, all right, hey. Remember how we said our next thing is we'll take Bozu for you guys if you help us out with it. Bungo. Bungo. Right. Of Bungo. How could I forget the real Bogus. name? Bogus. Bingo, bango, bango. I'm so happy in the jungle. Anyway. Um, okay. All right. So, Kasumi, you get all the cohorts and guys. They go, what's happened? You fill them in. They go, oh no! <laughs> they follow you to EO. Oh no! And Cesare, you travel to Shirado. Kasumi and Cesare, kindly each roll a d100. Oh boy, random encounters! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, you know who's really good at fighting? Cesare! It's me. <laughs> well, fortunately, Chazari, you don't encounter. You barely encounter a bird. You're just traveling <laughs> through. Everything's fine. You what? stay on the road for a lot of it. You only go cross country through a short portion of a relatively sparse for- forest before finding the road that leads into Shirado. I you're have to get over that river. You're well. The the river has a bridge. Perfect. You uh, actually I get go, to Shirado. Actually, I can go. Actually, I go south because there's a road, so I can do two roads, then one through a forest, and I'm back on a road again. Yeah, actually, it you travel actually very quickly. Uh, getting to nine thirteen takes you a day. Then two days through eight thirteen. Two days, so seven thirteen, and then a day to Shirado, which is a week. Oh, so that's actually slow. Is it? Actually, Gosh. wait. No, you're. Uh, He's horse. on a horse. I'm on, I have a horse. So, okay, it's a half day to 0913. It seems like if I just went straight, it would be faster, to be honest. I don't know how much the river impacts, because there's a bridge, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the bridge is going to 912, so you'd still want to go there. 
Um, I'm trying to think. So half days in 2015, one, two, or two and a half rather, and a quarter of the day from there. So it'll take you two and three quarters of a day to get to Sherado if you go south first and then go east or go west. And then if you went straight there, it would take you two. It would take you four days if you went oh. straight there because you. So then I take the road, and that explains why I don't see any birds. Yeah. You don't see any bandits either. Mm. Unlike Kasumi. Fortunately, Kasumi has. has Kas a... Fortunately, Kasumi has all the cohorts with her. Yes. Kasumi, as you are traveling through the woods, mm -hmm. you are suddenly stopped by a man. Okay. In ratty clothes and wooden armor. It's Rat Man. He wields a nasty spear and he goes, Oh, there, travelers. You I all don't look like you're from I around. I hold my here. hand up. I hold a finger up. I hold one finger up. And what? I say, Are you robbing us? Yes. Are you, char you charging us money? Uh, yep. It's a toll road here. How many of the of you are there? A thousand. <laughs> a thousand men. Boy, would I like to hire you guys. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> See, I'm gonna keep you in on something. I'm I'm a part of the rebellion in the north. You know about them? Uh. What with the taking of the towns and the fighting of the shogun's what people? A fucking mind game. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I stopped being regular skin color and I'd be blue. I turned blue. Which is my regular skin color. I am blue now. Oh, I'm just showing you that I'm legit. Okay. <laughs> oh, hang on. And I, I just, like, fire water off in the distance. <laughs> okay. I could also do now water see, sports. Now see, that could be... Shut up. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> That could be your face. <laughs> or... You following me? Wait, the water sports? <laughs> God damn it. I was hoping... Okay, that was kind of funny. Yeah, it was. Um, <laughs> uh, he blinks a few times. Uh, you see all my friends here? My emotion that's all the cohorts. They They're wait. pretty good. They'll kill you. Not that one, though. He's a pacifist. Doesn't matter how many people you have, we'll kill you. Kill you dead. Boy, just yesterday, I actually impaled, like, three people. <laughs> Turned a couple people into blood mist. It's a good time. <laughs> Roll, uh... Yeah, there you go. That's the intimidate. Aha. Uh -huh. Well. I fucking love this. So, the guy... Go, he goes up to you and takes the reins of your horse and he goes look lady I'm not in charge of this operation but if I look like I'm helping you the guys who are will tear my arms off and feed them to me do you got family here nope do you have I'll any reason to stay you. here nope uh, is, is your boss real scary yep real strong do you think he could beat us maybe Hmm. All right. Better idea. How many of them are, are? Are how many are there actually with you? Uh, there's like seven. Ah, uh, just come with me. You're fine. You can. Uh, I'll I'll conscript you. You have a, a home, steady pay. They're like in the woods around us. Yeah, I'll we'll kill all of them. It doesn't matter. Okay. Just hide. Sounds good. <laughs> I I I swear to God, if you try to stab me, blood mist. I I won't. Uh, yeah, no, I won't. <laughs> All right. As he sort of like sails in, you hear a voice from the trees, a booming voice that goes, What the fuck is going on, Hanji? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you're. You're taking up with them, aren't you? Shut <laughs> up! Yeah, let me find my my fucking. Uh, I'm just gonna drag my pog in the screen so I can modify my health. Am I what? Oh, whoops. Is this the right health? 
double check. Let me double check. Hang on, hang it's on. It's connected to your sheet, so if you modify it in on your sheet, it'll follow on the pog. Oh uh, yeah, I was having issues finding it on the fucking sheet because it's all all topsy turvy these days. How the fuck is it on the sheet? Mm-hmm. I mean, hey Cesare, drag yourself on the sheet so I can see you on your hex. Oh, It'll okay. be like a cool adventure. Yeah, yeah, it's like an Indiana Jones. Da, 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 da. Your HP is on core, and you just scroll down on the sheet. Yeah, I'm looking on there. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I, I've got it right here on my little pocket pocket. I'll find it later. All right. All right. A, I have opened your sheet. I am on core. I mean, I see my class HP. Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah. I had health and wounds minimized. That's what it was. Yep. All right. If you want me to roll initiative? Uh, no, because we'll stop there. We'll do your encounter at the beginning of next session. Um... Cesare, you basically make it into Sherado. Kasumi, you're here when this happens. Okay. And then... Uh, I am Sherado. <laughs> you will do the trial. And hopefully nothing bad will happen. Everything bad happens. Oh no. Are they going to call me up? I Vampire, we it. call you to the sand. I ain't never kill nobody. I kill nobody. Then what do you say to this? And then they pull out the severed head. I'm a fan of whoever did that. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, and that is the end of our show for tonight. Oh, it's the end of the session, okay. Yes. No, we're ending um, because... I thought you were just, like, cutting me short, and I was like, hey, <laughs> No, 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 no. Um... I ruined all of Salas' plans. Well, There's no, a... you didn't. Um, Played right into my hand, in fact. But the <laughs> uh, the trial, I wasn't necessarily ready for. Yeah. Um, so. So this guy's name is Hanji, right? Hanji, H A N G J I. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking train this guy up, but good. Gonna so... make him a follower. I mean, I have a leadership <laughs> score that isn't really being like. Used. <laughs> That's true. You only have uh, actually. Funnily enough, Tatsu is one of uh, Cesare's. Um, what do call it? Uh, yeah. Followers. Minions. Tatsu is one of my boys. Followers. Also, Pascal is with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I, I only really ha- I only really have like Mino as my cohort, of course, and then. That's kind of it. I don't That's really it, have like yeah. an honor guard or anything like that. Well, right. like Shazar has such a high charisma score that I have like I think twenty followers that I can have or something like that. I I can have a fair number of followers. Yeah, That's not the issue. I'm just saying that's why like I've been collecting so many. Is like literally every person that I meet, I can be like, hey. What's well, up? that's the thing with leadership too. Is they kind of describe it as just like you nebulously gain people who are like, I want to join your cause. Right. 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 Point is south. Give me an honor guard. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to do? Collect one. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta make one. Yeah, that, that's gonna... not how the leadership ro- uh, the, the feat works. Hey, I've it been is now. Mistakenly, every time. <laughs> Taking all the good followers. I I, 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 I get the dumpling lady as a follower. I, I got more. I get the dumpling lady. That would be an interesting <laughs> choice. <laughs> I find. Everybody no, wait, I get, I get all, I get. I get all the badass old people from that village as my followers. That's right. Tatsy's my uh, Tatsy's the my boyfriend, right? <laughs> what the, the one who we, is, we maybe he's, he's your boyfriend, but he's my follower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't saying it like that. I was just trying to. I was clarifying. At any given moment, I can tell him to dump you. <laughs> but, you but you won't because you you love me the most. Mm, I'm like those uh... unspoken bond. I'm like those those cringy pictures of the dads who are holding a shotgun at prom or whatever. <laughs> Except Tatsu's the, the 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 girl who's being protected. What's the what's the God, what would be written on your shirt? Okay. Oh, big God. Hold on. So, I look I look forward to to the Chrono Trigger style 
trial, uh, I mean, Chrono Trigger style trial next time. I can't use the Chrono Trigger style music because then Bat uh, Baba, <laughs> Baba Yaga, Yaga shows up and says, "You want to make a deal for your for your innocence?" That's that's <laughs> the curse. I don't even know who you are, but okay. I I can't wait for Urob to show up in the campaign. <laughs> I, I, he has I'm a theme song and everything. Urob, wait. I mean, he is the world's. He was the greatest lawyer on Logos for a very <laughs> short while in our last <laughs> campaign. Yeah. Wait. I'm honestly hungry for it. We like, can have the Phoenix Wright soundtrack. For, yeah. Please, let, let Sal's bring the boy back. I'm not stopping Sal's from Sal's, it's, bring it's, the this, boy back. Rob is Sal's character now. Sal can do what he wants with him. Sal's? <laughs> it just, it was, it did happen in the last campaign. That... You'll just have, Sal will just have to feed you every line thing that Rob would say. Well, I didn't have a special voice for Urab, so... Yeah, it was just your voice, and I'd rather hear your voice. Oh, I see. <laughs> right, I can read off of a script. Yeah, you have a voice for Chizari. Hello, champions. <laughs> Greetings, champions. I mean, sorry, crosses out. Uh, looks at notes. <laughs> Rebellious <laughs> Sarugans. Honestly, that's pretty good. Sal's? Yes? I can't believe Sal's dead. Why on earth?